Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well and fine. Here in this session, we are going to discuss some of the most important MCQs of the basic level of network security. That is going to be helpful for your all upcoming examinations. Let me start with the question number one. Question is which one of the following is actually considered as a first computer virus? So if you talk about computer virus, I hope you know that damage our computers that is still our files that uh, that uh, uh, detect some of the important content from our system and they may misuse them right such kind of uh, uh, thing is called as virus so first virus if you know don't know let me tell you it was creeper basically it was uh, made as an experimental program in 1971 and creeper was the first virus so you must have to note it. Question number two, in Wi-Fi security, which of the following protocol is more used? So nowadays, if we talk about uh, Wi-Fi, then uh, due to security purposes, we normally use WPA2 mode. That is also called as an advanced mode, advanced uh, version of WPA, that is Wi-Fi protected access you can also write that is wi-fi protected access right two it is normally used much nowadays for security purposes so option b is the correct here question number three an algorithm in encryption is called as so when an algorithm is used for encryption purpose it is the technical term is Cipher. The technical term is cipher. Option C is the correct one. Question number four. The field that covers a variety of computer networks, both public and private, that are used in everyday jobs. So, what do you call that field? Basically, that is consisting of computer networks, public and private. It means that we are uh, generally talking about uh, keys or maybe some networks that is used in everyday jobs. So because of public and private that is appear in computer networks, we will go with network security. That field is called as network security. Question number five, the process of verifying the identity of a user is, so there are four important terminology, authentication, identification, validation, and verification. They are very key important terms. If you talk about authentication, it is called as a process of verifying the identity of a user that whether the user or person who is accessing our file is authenticated or not, or not, right? So the process of verifying the identity is called as authentication. It means that we are providing authenticate authentication to that person to access our system, to access our files, to access our database. So this process is called as authentication identification simply means that identification simply means that to recognize that person for doing that but it is not a verifying and c is validation validation is a kind of thing it means that whether a valid user is accessing that database or not getting it and verification so verification and identification will lead to authentication verification means after validation, verification will be in the process. And after verification, that person will be authenticated, right? So you can understand it like that. If you if you will go with for uh, making your uh, passport, then first your identification will be done. After your identification will be done with your identity like voter ID card, Aadhaar card, your birth certificate, you will be validated on the basis of that, that you are eligible or not. And then after verification will be done that whether any criminal records are attached with you or not. If they all are not with you, it means that you are authenticated for getting passport. So I hope with this example, the key terminologies between all these uh, uh, options are clear, right? Question number six, which one of the following can be considered as a class of computer threads? So basically class of computer thread, important terminology is here. It is called as denial of service attack, denial of service attack, DOS attack, class of computer threads. Phishing and soliciting are not a class of computer threads. 
denial of service it means that the user want to access some some file user want to access some location and they are not uh, making available for the user they are hiding they are make, they are not uh, making available for the user the thing that user required that is called as denial of service and it is called as a class of computer triads right question number 7 which one of the following is a type of antivirus program quick hill i hope everybody know a very well known uh, computer uh, antivirus it is macafi and casper kai so all are all are kind of uh, antivirus softwares and question number 8 here is which of the following refers to stealing one's idea or invention of others and use it for their own benefits so it is called as piracy plagiarism or intellectual property rights that is ipr intellectual property rights or plagiarism or piracy so when th uh, there is a idea that is given by someone else and you are using that idea without his or her permission right and without his or her mentioning in them and you are using for your own benefit such kind of things is piracy plagiarism or intellectual property rights so all of the above is the correct basically we are just discussing here basics of network security if you are interested to learn something more on network security we can go with the intermediate part also and further we can go with the high level part also but it completely depends on your interest if you are going to show the interest please comment like the video and tell me that yes you are interested so that i can lead it to some more higher level and will give you a uh, advanced knowledge on network security because it is a very very important terminology very very important subject very very important topic okay question number 9 which one of the following refer to the technique used for verifying the integrity of message verifying integrity of message it means that if someone has sent the message exact message will be delivered or not that is called as verifying integrity of the message it means that meanwhile content should not be changed let's say here something x y z message is there the same message x y z should be delivered to the receiver let's say it is a source through or sender and from sender to receiver exact information should be sent so which technique is used to verify the integrity means originality basically the keyword that is called as message digest it is a kind of uh, a hash function is used with some string with the help of that string you can read it in the detail and uh, with the help of that uh, strings we can verify whether the original message is sent to the user or not in computer networks you can also know them with the term crc or checksum redundancy right there are something more but uh, you just need to know here the key terminology is message digest using hash algorithm we can add some bits some strings and with the help of that we can verify the integrity of message that is called as message digest and the question number 10 which of the following is considered as the world's first antivirus program so you know we have discussed already what is first virus the first virus was creeper the first virus was creeper invented in 1971 as an experimental way as an experimental program and it can it can harm your computer it can replicate it can make copy of itself and it can also transform from one system to another system getting it to resolve with the disadvantage of creeper virus there is a software that is going to work as the anti of that that is called as reaper reaper was the first antivirus developed to remove and delete the copies of creeper getting it so reaper was first antivirus creeper was first virus i hope this session is going to be very very helpful for you i hope this was knowledgeable one further if anybody wants to have any query any doubt please comment us in the comment section and i hope everybody will like it and if you have any doubt confusion query please feel free to ask else do subscribe the channel press the bell icon button for more such videos and stay tuned with us subscribe thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat